So I've made a few videos lately where you might have been thinking, that electric Viking guy, he is crazy. He's batshit crazy. He's losing his mind. He's saying that Legacy Auto, Toyota, GM, Volkswagen, all those other car companies, Ford, are in trouble because lithium iron phosphate batteries are the chemistry of the future. But where are the facts? Where is the data? Well, my friends, it's here. Trendforce, one of the world's largest research houses, who has clients including Google, HP, UMC, 3M, Konica, Lenovo, NEC, Apple, Microsoft, Navigant, Asus, Canon, Dell, Best Buy, Panasonic, Sony, Hewlett Packard, Intel, Amazon, LG, and well, pretty much every big company that exists, you name it, they're one of their clients, are saying what I've been saying. And this report only came out within the last 24 hours, which basically proves my point. Lithium ion phosphate batteries are the battery chemistry of the future, and this is backed by data. This is backed by the numbers. This is backed by what's been happening over the last two years, which will predict what will happen over the next five years. Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. It's great to see you here on the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting the channel. I hope you've had an amazing day. And, well, you've made my boy's day, Jack and Cal. Jack is eight, Cal's five. They are so stoked to see all the new subscribers on their channel. There's now 1,200 subscribers on their channel. I think they had about maybe about 100 only a week ago. And that difference is thanks to you guys, guys and girls. Thanks so much for what you've done. It's, it's it, it. I couldn't say how much it means to me. And I also have to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters of the channel. Thank you guys as well. So what is going on? Well, as I have said numerous times over the last six months, LFP batteries are expected to grow to have over 60% market share globally by 2024. These numbers are not just plucked from the media. It's not just the kind of thing where people say, oh, I think this will happen. Oh, yeah, yeah, sounds good. Sounds like a plan. This is backed by numbers. The last two years of global battery cathode material industry capacity planning shows that the expansion scale and speed of LFP material development will far exceed that of ternary materials. Now, it's important to remember Pretty much all of Legacy Auto primarily uses ternary batteries, which are around double the price of LFP batteries. Yes, they have a higher energy density. Ternary batteries do right now. By the end of this year, well, those advantages will have evaporated when you have a look at the batteries coming out of these LFP companies. Now, lithium iron phosphate batteries have been installed in China for many months, more at a higher rate than ternary batteries. And that difference is actually growing in China, where a number of reports have said they will dominate the global market, not just the Chinese market, but the global market in only two years, not five, only two. As technology continues to advance, CNFPost.com reports that LFP batteries are expected to account for more than 60% of the global battery market installed by 2024. That's less than two years away. Why? This is due to their cost advantage as claimed by market research firm Trendforce in a report released today. Like I said, Trendforce, they're not just some little company sprouting their opinions. They are a company valued for the data they provide, which is based on statistics. And like I said, they have contracts. They've provided this evidence, this data to some of the world's biggest companies, to actually not to some of, to the world's biggest companies over the past few years. Now, influenced by rising raw material prices for batteries, Several car brands, including Tesla, BYD, NIO, XPUN, and Volkswagen, raised the sales prices of their electric vehicles in the first quarter of this year. Now, it's important to remember that the company that raised prices the least was the one that primarily uses lithium ion phosphate batteries. Well, more than 95% of their cars have LFP batteries. They were able to raise prices less than their competitors because they don't use nickel. The price of nickel is now worth more than gold. Crazy, isn't it? Why does all of this matter? Well, batteries are the core components that account for the highest cost of EVs, and reducing their cost will be an important strategy for companies to compete in the future, said Trendforce. Now, for example, right, if the highest cost of building your car is the battery, and your competition pays 50% less than you do, 
for the battery. Can you compete with them? Mm, I don't think so. In China, the world's largest EV market, LFP batteries overtook ternary batteries with a 52% share in 2021, which doesn't sound like much, but their share continues to rise. It increased to 60% in the first quarter of this year, and that gap appears to be widening. In the global EV market, though, benefiting from increased penetration of new energy vehicles in Europe and the US, ternary batteries, which use exotic materials like nickel and cobalt, manganese have a share of more than 60 percent higher than lfp batteries which have a share of between 32 to 36 percent depending on where you're getting the numbers said trend force now although the global share of lfp batteries still has a large gap from ternary lithium batteries in other words globally right now ternary lithium batteries the battery chemistry that is used by legacy auto primarily the global battery cathode material industry capacity planning in the past two years shows that the expansion scale and speed of LFP materials will far exceed that of ternary batteries. In other words, if you have a factory right now, you're ramping up production. If you're General Motors, you're Ford, Volkswagen, or basically any other legacy auto company who's ramping up a battery factory, and that battery factory is going to be making ternary batteries, then you're on the back foot already. At present, the global announced cathode materials planned for expansion projects are concentrated mostly in China and South Korea, with a total capacity planned of over 11 million tons, of which the planned capacity of LFP cathode materials accounts for around 65%, according to Trendforce. Now, interestingly, if you have a look at this chart here from CNF Post, you can see that the planned capacity for LFP batteries this year is only 46%. Next year though, it will be 57%. The following year, 61%. And the year after that, 64%. So as the planned capacity has exceeded market demand, there will be a gap between the total planned capacity and the actual capacity in the future. And it remains to be seen how much actual effective capacity can be reached, said the report. One of the key drivers of what's going on right now is simply the cost, right? Costs involved are staggering when it comes to lithium ternary batteries. With significant increase in the prices of core battery materials such as lithium, cobalt, and nickel since the second half of 2021, automakers will have no choice but to focus more on reducing battery material costs as well as supply chain security, meaning they have no choice other than to use LFP batteries, at least for their cheaper cars and for their middle cost cars where price matters under this new trend lfp batteries will have a more prominent cost performance advantage and will likely become mainstream in the next two to three years china's battery installed base in march was 21.4 gigawatt hours that's an increase of 140 percent year on year and 57 percent from february according to data released by the china automotive battery innovation alliance Ternary batteries in March in China were 8.2 gigawatt hours, accounting for 38% of the total base. LFP batteries were 13.2 gigawatt hours, which accounted for 62% of the total. This is the ninth consecutive month where LFP batteries have been installed ahead of ternary batteries in China. Why does this matter? Well, clearly it's the Chinese car companies and Tesla who have ordered LFP batteries in it and have essentially put themselves in position to have a major cost advantage over their competitors, right? This advantage will only grow over the next couple of years as LFP batteries increase their energy density, meaning, right, that customers will be able to buy a car from these companies at a lower cost, which has a battery technology which lasts around three times longer it's one of the things that people are ignoring. Customers are not stupid. A lot of them will work out the fact that if they buy a car with an LFP battery, not only will that car be extremely unlikely to have a fire in the case of an accident where LFP batteries are much, much safer than lithium ternary batteries, but also the buyer of that vehicle will have a vehicle where the battery will unquestionably last many years longer than the battery in their ternary vehicle. And remember, Ternary batteries, it's recommended you only charge them to 80% and discharge to 20%. With LFP batteries, 
they don't have that problem. And they cost around half the price of ternary batteries. It's to me a no-brainer. And I'm really amazed that the majority of the legacy auto industry, Toyota, Honda, GM, Volkswagen, Ford, etc., haven't realized this yet. What is going on? Please tell me. Please explain it to me. I don't understand what they're thinking. Now, I hope because you watch this channel, you're very well aware of what's going on. You're well aware of the advantages of LFP batteries versus lithium ternary batteries, and you're aware of the trends in the market. This should give you a leg up on who you should choose to invest in. Thanks for watching the channel. Hope you have an amazing day. And as always, I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.